the logistical cost is quite substantial. It's quite huge if you, if you, if you have to look at it in terms of cost. Besides, of course, there is an additional demand. The capacity has depleted. Very soon you'll see that uh, the, 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 there will be a lack of equipment. There will be no containers available uh, to, be, to be supplied to the market. Already in the last two weeks, I think the freight rates have, have skyrocketed. We can't even accommodate our own vessels that are given the CTOC status because, I mean, the waiting period, the congestion in Durban is humongous. It's, it's quite colossal. It's a waiting period. We're looking at about uh, 20 days at this point in time. The ongoing conflict at the Red Sea means that shipping lines are going to be disturbed. And as they are disturbed, uh, it means basically that the, su the supply of raw materials could also be disrupted. That brings in about 14 days uh, at sea and therefore pushes price of shipping lines very, very high and price of goods and services, which is not good for us uh, as consumers. 